Good news, humans. I managed to defeat procrastination. Or at least I think I did. As for Ender Lilies, all I already know about it is that it is a side scroller. But it looks interesting. Other people will call it a Metroidvania. Yeah, I'd rather not deal with vibration. I get the feeling that's going to be important later. That makes sense now. those things do I have? Huh. Alright then, statue and inscription, stone statue. The inscription below the intact statue reads Priestess of Dawn, of the Dawn. While the ruined statue seems to have been one of the Priestess of the Wind. Oh, there's more. Wait, she's... Priestess of the Wind. Which one would this girl be? Lily status <laughs> residue stagnant blight furious ancient souls level one out of a hundred that's a specific number prayers blight attack prayer potence oh I get it now I get so many heals But does that mean, uh, I think they don't get used unless I actually heal missing HP. Either that or I'm still at the start of the game. Now this is one of the things I did see when I was looking at the preview. Apparently you can set skills. Uses, cooldown, aquatic. Alicia's a fury, flurry of sword attacks. Attack direction can be changed during the advance by moving left or right right or left okay that's what they mean 
Black Grab Knight awaken from a deep slumber. Though not but a blighted spirit, they still retain some semblance to who they once were. Ooh, I think I know what it means. As I get equipped spirits, which means the different attacks from the preview will be different spirits coming out to fight. Ooh, that's interesting. Equip relics. I'm guessing those are going to be passives. Collection when HP is low. Oh, that's what it is when HP is low. Fairly jump. Oh, sorry, slightly on the ground. She can grab bridges on ledges. In reach and climb up. Dodge. With a great deal of effort. On water surface. She's a dreadful swimmer. You cannot dive under blighted water. What the hell is blighted water? With spirits equipped. Oh! Oh. Call forth the blighted spirits within using the power of Priestess Tron. Oh, but I'm not. Up to six spirits. Oh, that's what I mean. Switching between them. Return to right? Okay, so either it only activates when my health is low, or yeah, I'm pretty sure I gotta get hit first. Findings. Description below the tank reach priestess of dawn by the ruined statue itself. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, a lot more lore to find. In the map. Unexplored route. Complete area. Complete respite. I wonder if I take fall damage. I'm gonna don't be afraid. You seem more than capable. Just how strong uh, is this thing? But then again, they already look weak. Blight. 10 out of 140. I'm guessing that's the most I can hold. Do those do anything? Other than give me target practice. Huh, so I can't dodge through enemies. Yeah, I kind of already figured that out the fun way. Oh, 
Aw. Can't reach that high. So I can't dodge upon attacking. There is a delay. I'm not going to get hurt. Yep. So I need to take damage first. Then I can actually use one of my heals. Elaine's letter. Dear Secret, I want you to deliver the amulet unto that white priestess. It's a necklace I bestow upon all priestesses, but I've imbued it with a blessing. I'm certain the ward will protect her from the threat of the blighted. Wards can be broken and restored, but that is something only a priestess can manage. I count on you to see this through yours, Elaine. Main menu. Yeah, I kind of already found out, figured out, not the fun way. Break. Ooh, pick up amulet fragment. Ah! Okay, ooh, I'm liking this more and more. I wonder what other special gimmicks I'm gonna get later on throughout the game. Tiny shadow fragment still glows with faint light. Wait, achievements? <laughs> Purified Guardian Secret. Purified Dark Witch Elaine. Ooh. Kira, the Elder Warrior. I will say this, that's one thing I actually do like about ga some games on the Switch. Unlike PlayStation and Xbox, they have a achievements built into the system itself. As for Nintendo, you have to put achievements within the game. Obtain five Blighted Spirits. Fully enhanced Blighted Spirits. Enhance the Umbu Knight, obtain the Relic. Reach level 100. Lurking felt blighted with a ruined one. Ooh. Enhance the spirit. <clears throat> Unleash the spectral lance's full power. Impaling. Folly. At least the giant hammers. Giant hammers full power. Most of these you'll get through just normal gameplay. But I am interested in the ones I gotta go out of my way for. I haven't reached 140 blight yet. Okay, prayers. I was right. And the prayer potency. Ah, that can only be changed then. Aww. I'm still interested in the whole infinite uses thing. I didn't kill him with that last swing it actually would have hit me. The blighted one. Oh good, I'm low about the game. As the mind, body, and soul of those afflicted with the blight is consumed, rot spreads throughout. This rot processes superb regenerative properties, granting undying flesh. Oh, so the things that were fought against. 
The link between mind and body is cut in time and the host is driven purely by the wrath of the blight. Respites. Spirit and prayers. Oh, I think I know what it means now. Resting will call for all defeat of blight. To walk the land once more. Oh, kind of like in Little Witch Nobita. All the enemies respawn. To restore your status and save the game. Blighted memories. Rewatch our previous few cutscenes. Wait, more cutscenes. Okay, so I can watch it again. Wait, prologue. But I think I understand what it means by uses now. How many times you can use it before you have to go back to a respite and you run, and you have to run, you run out of them. Huh. On the blighted two, there are blighted whose minds do not fade. This is no saving grace, however, as it is said that they must endure an eternity of pain and suffering. Well, yeah, it does make sense. Their flesh is rotting. And apparently it seems like it recovers at a slow pace. The miracle of the white priestess is the only true salvation for those who, become, who come to be cursed with the blight. That's why I keep trying to grab onto those. I don't know what these things purpose is other than to taunt me. Yeah, you do realize I can see you, right? Sixty-six out of one forty. <laughs> That's a long blade. I do like how they added a walk feature. Uh, 
didn't dodge all the way through. Hey. Hey. Thanks for making it easy. Nope. Apparently there's nothing there. Okay, so they don't attack. Oh, shit, never mind, I take that back, they do. They just attack really slowly. can't see down there. Yeah, I don't know if I could take fall damage or not. I swear, is there something involving these? Because I swear these things are just taunting me. Oh, that one's big. Oh, that does magic. Oh, and it swings. Amulet fragment. Sweet. Continue. Spot eight. How many do I need to make to fix the thing? Yeah, they never told me how many amulet fragments I need to fix it. No, well. These things survive more than one hit. Level. Oh, that was level. Ah, okay, so that's what the blight is. So the blight is how much EXP I need to level up. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen when that thing fills up. Carriers of the rock appeared from the land of snow, bringing calamity to land's end. Said to be the ancient's revenge, the rock drove people to madness and transformed them into monstrosities. Carriers of the rock came to be known as the Blighted.
Tainted by the blight, never to die. No, those creatures to blight it. Is it alright for me to actually sit on this thing? I guess so. You high. Oh, I swear this room screams boss fight if I ever seen one. Stick with rock of the blight. Take heed to protect her. I must destroy this. Oh, That hurt. So I still take touch damage. Even if I dodge, I can just land too close and get hurt. I was supposed to protect you. Oh. <clears throat> I know the priestess of the fount. She was only hope against the immortal blighted. With unflinching resolve and a smile on her face, she... Epitomized radiant. Ah. My sister's letter informed me that the priestess was in poor health. It seemed the burden of her purification rituals was taking its toll. I couldn't rejoice at the peace she brought at the cost of her own well being. Moreover, I couldn't forgive myself for not being able to protect her as a guardian. No, it was my own sister who was chosen for that role. In my darkest hour, I found solace in Lily, who was much like the priestess herself. Even if I couldn't serve her as a guardian, the least I could do was protect her. But the rain began to fall. Cries of pain rang out. Ooh, rain of death. I gave Lily sanctuary and took my weapon in hand. The rain never let up. Oh. Guardian Spirit Seeker swings an iron ball to attack surrounding enemy sub skills. 
have a cooldown, then we double uses. <clears throat> Take your card at the sap to protect the white priestess Lily. Never ending blood share caused her to be consumed by madness. Yeah, it makes sense. Guardians leap. Ooh. Oh, so that's how I did. I didn't have to go around, I just needed a double jump. <clears throat> Wait, did I hurt just get darker? The soul has been purified, no longer imprisoned by blight. Well, in that memory just now, the woman called you Lily. Surely that is your name. If you retrace the memories of the blighted in life, you may just remember something yourself. It may prove difficult, but can you carry on? Pick up soil prayer beads. Slightly increases maximum HP. I don't remember if it's 110 because of the level of the beads. That's my experience with skills at your disposal. Skills can be equipped every spice. Give a relic. Access purified memories. Refight any purified boss. Ooh. Okay, those are her. Ah, I can see now. Purified memory. Yeah, 13. Main skill, sub skill. Does that mean I get other main skills or do I just get a crap ton of sub skills? Interesting. Okay, no, it was just level. X is the button that you. Okay. I got hit. Ow, I got hit again. Quite honestly, I'm not sure if anything will happen by me beating it without taking damage. Sloppy.
Oh, so she does something different in the air. Ooh. Just getting hit by. Oh, so damn, I got some range on it. No! Let's try that again. I find it interesting they actually have two separate attacks, one in the air and one on the ground. Ow! Crap! Got hit anyways. And I walked into that one. Now I'm trying to rush it, screwing up. Really? Uh, you hit me uh, well, last time. Aww. Damn, it's got some range on it. Did that too soon. Times one. Oh, so I do get something for me to get. Ooh. But what did I get? Stagnant blight. Okay, so it was what? Wait, what's the difference between stagnant and furious? Oh, okay, I did not notice that at first. Just standing right over there. I wonder. Any equip? Okay, so only the ones equipped stand near me. I'm gonna try to do this again without getting hit.
I got through the first one without taking damage. Now it's this one. One furious. Okay, so beat it without taking damage, you do get a furious blight. I'm curious how many times I can do that. Like I'm I'm legit curious how many times I can fight it for those. Can I grind those or do I just get one from each? It doesn't have anything. Well, only one way to find out. You come in trying to take my head off with that thing. I guess they do that to make sure people don't get trapped in there, in the corner.
crap. Okay, so I can legit form this for the furious ones. You can legit. <laughs> so you can form bosses for the stagnant and well, I think the stagnant, the stagnant and furious blights. And the furious you get from beating it without taking damage. So you actually do get something for that. Now I'm actually concerned about the ancient souls. The hell do I have to fight to get those things? I need to look back earlier. And I, well, when I finish this video, I need to look back earlier to see do I get EXP from that too. But for now, I'm going to wrap that wrap up the first video. Ender Lilies. Oh, it is more fun than I thought it'd be. Dark, sad, depressing, but a good story.